Hi everybody. Today I'm gonna talk about state space search algorithms. And this is not the kind of state space that we've been dealing with that I wanted to make a script from first. And let's look at this. And here we can see there are two general algorithms, right? Called DFS and BFS. DFS stands for Depth First Search, right? And BFS stands for Breadth Search First. When you hear bread, you think about like, like width, right? Or and when you think about depth, you go this direction, right? And you go here, kind of this in, in this fashion, okay? All right. So this is like the first info, and here, let's look at this map. All right and this map we have start node by the way let me talk about the little term terminology here we will be calling this uh, the circles where there are letters in them right written and we will be calling them referring them as node okay and here we can call them link right and there are other ways of you know referring them as well. And here, S in, in, in this for, for this problem stands for start. Okay, this is where we start. And G stands for goal. Okay, this is where we want to achieve, where we want to reach. Okay, and the general problem is that. I mean, the first problem, first general problem is this first generate g but dfs and bfs generally generally focuses on generate the path from s node to g node right okay you might be thinking hey but that doesn't look that hard right i mean there are like tens or something a human can do that of course human can do that but think about like um, Whenever you enter some A location and B location to your GPS, all right, and it immediately wait a minute. Although there are many cities, right, or there are many um, little nodes, all right, in that direction, it immediately generates some path. And sometimes, when you generate a path, you in that second or in that duration. It also um, takes account of the or considers the um, traffic congestion in that right in that link for example and that's why maybe it eliminates that it not only finds tries to find a path but also tries to um, find a path that is optimized in some in some specified or optimization objective, right? Okay, that's like the, a couple of first bit bits. And let me read that. And my goal here, here, and this will be, a, let me write this. This will be a playlist. Maybe there are three or four videos there will be, right? And first video, I will generally explain DFS and BFS algorithms generally, okay, and and I talk about the algorithms and I will kind of in a detailed fashion, step by step fashion, I will talk about the codes of the you know given algorithms DFS and BFS, right? And there are other algorithms like A star, Ekstra, right, and iterative deepening. DFS or something, right? There, but I'm not hundred percent um, familiar with that. I'm kind of familiar with A star, but uh, I will be first focus on focus on DFS and BFS, right? In that place, this is I will teach. Or I will talk about uh, from this from this med medium, right? Tablet, and in the second video, I consider I will consider a specific problem. Right, specific problem where I mean 
I mean, this picture or this problem is look is really good for explaining the concept of DFS and BFS algorithms, the interesting and working principles, right? And and also it it is also good for explaining the uh, general state space search algorithms, right? And okay, now let's, now that we get that over the out of the way, right? And in the second video, I will talk about a specific problem and where consider yourself in a maze, right? Start and end, right? Let me make this a little, you know, easy on die, okay? And maybe there are some walls here right something right how would you generate of, of course i mean it's like four by four of course it's not a hard problem however if we understand the algorithm and if we uh, go over step by step how the algorithm will solve that problem you know if we analyze the intermediate variables in defining the algorithm we will be in a position where we are able to solve like really complicated i mean i cannot even draw that right really complicated like 100 times 100 by 100 maybe thousand by thousand mazes right and it would be helpful for a couple of applications where i will also uh, mention them in later in this video and okay this is like the uh, general description of what we are going to do and i will try to solve this in matlab okay and okay and we will be focusing on this type of problem okay maze solving and in the second video i will explain that again on the paper on the paper i will explain not the algorithms but the program but the specific program that i you know coded and to solve that problem i mean even some algorithms is a one thing but also um, modifying that algorithm or implementing that algorithm on a specific program is another thing right so and it is sometimes really uh, frustrating for a lot of people especially for myself and you like to solve a problem and you don't even know which algorithm to use and when you hear hey you can use dfs algorithm or something and when you look at the online or some other materials right course materials and you look at this and there is some disconnect occurring right there is some disconnect exists and between that algorithm and your problem and to kind of eliminate at least for that given that specific maze problem that i was talking about uh, i wanted to also uh, dedicate a video which i will on paper talk only about in really uh, to an in here i mean annoying detail right uh, i will explain the program intrinsic aspects of the program right and in the third video in the third video i will uh, go over the program matlab right i will um, look at each functions right that i you know coded to um, to kind of automate right to some sub routines and all that and we will be uh, looking at the solutions looking at how matlab will solve that problem and okay if i have ever uh, didn't or if i don't talk about the second video in in the second video if i don't talk about the intrinsic aspects of the program right for example in for, from what i record there will be six or seven functions all right i will explain each of them right 
and I will explain how you can you will code that and how you would maybe uh, code that in a for computational efficient manner, right? I will talk about that as well. And after that, after then I will talk about the you know I, we will be looking at the matlab screen, okay? And and then we will look at the how matlab will solve that. And okay, I already written the program, all right? And of course, I would like you to give me some feedback on that, right? And maybe you can say, hey, you can you could have done this, you know, a little bit better, for example. And in matlab especially, right? Uh, it's not efficient to use lots of for loops. If you can get away with some array or some vector operations, because matlab is kind of designed for that, right? And okay, that's the general idea. That's the general. Idea. Now that we talk about the uh, th this was the intro of that today. This I guess, right? At at this second, I can. I mean, it will be better for me to you know cut that and upload as the video zero. This is like the introduction of that playlist. Maybe I hopefully in the future I will do that, right? Okay, let's look at the DFS and BFS. By the way, let me tell you, there is. I mean, if you look at the pseudo codes, I mean, we will be talking about the pseudo codes. If you look at the pseudo codes, there is, let's say, there are 20 lines, let's say, right? And there is only one line different be between those two algorithms, right? And so it's not a really, you know, they are not separate, right? And so let's look at this. All right. Let me, I guess I should read all of them, right? Read and read and all right. Okay. You are here at the S node and you want to go to G node. All right. Let's, before going into the algorithms, let's consider how you would do that. How, how you really, I mean, of course, you know a little bit um, programming or programming ideas, let's say, right? And how, how would you go about doing that, right? First, you would write, okay, here I'm in S location and give me the quote and quote, by the way, we will be using that term. Give me the children of S node. Children means the nodes where we can go from or we can immediately in one step we can immediately uh, go travel from s to that location all right for so in that aspect in that aspect a and b nodes are the children of s node okay so and in that aspect this by the way it's di let me write this it's a directed graph right and Let's look at that maze stuff, right? And this will be undirected graph, okay? So, I wanted to give you a heads up on that. And, all right, A and B are the children, all right? Here, I'm in S location, and where can I travel from S? A and B. Let's consider them as cities, okay? Is in a country, all right? Romania or in India, for example, right? And all right, or Russia, right? And A and B. Okay. So, what are the children of each of those nodes? All right. That, that's a good problem. All right. Let's first. What are the children of A node and C and E? All right. And what are the children of B and D? All right. D and C. By the way, we have C. Or let me write this, let me write this. D and C, right? Okay. In and by the way, people I feel like generate algorithms in that fashion, by the way. They think about it, they consider how they would solve that, and by kind of thinking about them, you in you know, in some after a while you kinda get to see some pattern, right? And people talk about pattern recognition and machine learning, all that. And this is how human intelligence would work, I feel like sometimes, right? Okay, when you have that, 
and let's write a function called unique by the way it's literally the name of the function that we will be using in matlab right and which would which would only give you the unique elements okay right so far we generated the children of ace right let's consider and another good term depth right and here let's consider that as depth zero and let's consider that as depth one right write that okay and here now we are at this location the depth two right and okay now what are the children of those nodes right one by one what are the children of c wow c doesn't have any right and so let's continue to the next one e e f and g all right and i feel like in but let's write the children of d let's list them f right okay again let's use that function unique f and g and don't you know you we have the g so we managed to find the g all right yeah, that's great and so what you will think about i feel like right after each step and let's call them step right step number one two three four you have that set you have that set right and check to see if G, the goal is in it all right you, you maybe you can write some function to you know do that and okay let's continue let's continue for example however there's a problem little problem right we don't know or we haven't kept the record of the path right okay hey we find g right perfect but the problem is to generate the path right okay so all right let's delete that right delete okay here we are in this location s and generate the children of a, a and b okay a and b all right and in that second this is like the i mean i'm giving it a really little space but it is like the most important concept here we were talking about only about this thing this object right and for example for example object i mean this is not a computer science course at any stage of the imagination but uh, we we ref we are referring to these you know circles as nodes right okay and node is an object by the way everything is an object right uh, in, uh, every object is an object right every material you see um, every tool right is an object and there are some attributes and there are some fields field is a like cs term and there are some things that you would use or to describe it right okay so let's consider the note right note for example as a name right we if we have the note object right note object has a name and we can recover that or get that the name right by using dot notation okay and note is a depth right okay and note is a parent right note is children then you you know use that for example you would 
expect to get some for example for s let's say s dot children you will probably expect to see a and b some sets where a object and b object nodes are in that set right you i mean you, you can do that right that will be the efficient by the way we'll talk more on that and maybe you like to put some id in that right for example everybody has you know social security numbers and hospital numbers car the driving license numbers and stuff right id some id right okay and all right you, you can do that and why you will do that maybe you can use that id and you have that for example not s not a dot 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 by using by using the id ids right you can you have for example list let's call it list one however you have also list number two and the problem you have is okay i have some list number two and my question is is not s in that list for example right and of course you can use for loop to iterate over them however maybe you are really a computer science guy and maybe you're really smart because of that right and you like um, you taking some data structure courses and something right and you maybe for example some hash map kind of data structure right uh, you would implement and it will be much much faster than the just storing the nodes in a array right and if you for example just name name an id right s for example one 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 a one two three b one 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 two one one three dot 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 right if you have that type of problem and this is like your list two and you have node s and you can get that id and here by using that type of structure you can immediately recover your answer the answer is yes or no yeah s not s in that list or it is not in that list for example this is like you know kind of detour all right let me do it all of them so yeah we talk about the node or the object kind of object oriented programming we talk about a lot of stuff as you see anyway we were continuing so all right now we have let's try to solve that problem once again and let me just read them That would be really interesting to see if if that eraser were able to, you know, erase that picture. Hopefully, it's not the case. All right, all right. Yes, and however, S is not a string at this moment, right? It is an object, and it's an node object, right? We we call it we call that object node, right? And it has name, depth, parent, mm, depth, parent, which one? Look, maybe location, yeah, maybe, maybe location. I mean, you'll like to, you know, keep that information as well, right? And and maybe type, right? Maybe type. What do you mean type? Maybe you like. The type of A is a city, and type of C is a metropolis, and type of E is a village or something. That's like an example, right? Okay, give me the children of A and B, and you have that. You have that picture. You have that picture, and you would probably like to transform that picture into a note list, right? Note. 
list and one two three four five six seven eight there are eight nodes right s a b c e d f g okay for every um, entry in that note list you are right um, for example i would probably i mean i did that and that's why i'm talking about in that manner right i would probably use for example note that name not that name or or you can immediately change that to a number one two three that 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 right however we again talk about the you know for a specific problem right not that name s string right or character right not that name equals s right not that um, depth zero all right not that parent or no no right like emptiness you would call in c plus plus and java right in python as well i guess i'm not sure about that Matlab and Python, they're really, you know, in context or or in text wise, they're really similar. Uh, however, okay, you just enter the names and and then you have again you would have some note list. It is like an empty array, and you would write that and you would write something like this note list uh, that note All right and then you would do note that name note that depth note that parent And again, the same thing, right? I'm not going to, I of course, write all of them. Note list and notes. That is like concatenation or band operation, right? Okay. And however, you're like, I mean, this is an exhaustive procedure, right? This is exhausting. I wouldn't like to do that, right? And that's why, that's why, in my opinion, you would write zero for each each node when you are in the process of constructing that famous node list, okay? Because you need, I mean, this picture in and of itself, it doesn't benef benefit you, it doesn't help you very much, right? You need to kind of, quote-unquote, digitalize it right and for that you need to construct build mm, note list okay and however the construction of note list is an i mean exhaustive procedure and ma manual procedure and that's why you only write the names of it you state you state the parent note. This is like the pointer, pointer to. We will talk about in a moment. Uh, pointer to the parent, right? And in C plus plus, it's called pointer, literally, right? And you say you give me some quote unquote object, which would points to that parents, parent notes. Dot dot location. Okay, I know I know I'm not being a robot on on that, 
but okay and we have time and when you are get, when you get stressed just breathe in and breathe out by the way it's helpful and we will talk step by step in each you know functions and each algorithms right so it's okay and you only write depth and null for each parent yield right you only write s and for every other node you can make them zero you can just default them to zero and null in the pro however in the process of dfs or bfs working right you can update your note list right you can update them for example in the process for example you have let's look at this let's say you are implementing bfs and for example you generate the children a and b and then immediately you can look at the a and b by the way you can there is another really important yield search search right and this will be let me write the name or data type data type right for example it can be a string depth is number right double or in integer parent parent this will be a pointer or the again again the not object i mean to be honest when i first hear about that that kind of really i mean that was really confusing for me that i but this is a not of not is referring to no what or oh, how is that possible it's like chicken and egg or something right it didn't make sense however you know what it doesn't need to be making sense for you right just go along with that go along to get along or get along to go along right just uh solve that problem or we will be solving that problem on matlab and try to you know implement a really simple problem and code that right implement that type of internet that type of uh, structure and after a while either you get like you know what i i mean that really makes sense you or you know what i am not 100 percent sure if that makes sense but my brain tells me that it makes sense so i guess it makes sense you're, you're going to be like that so learning is that kind of a procedure right and so listen that and then implement that in a very simple problem implement the same i mean i am not a marginal programmer so i mean whenever when, when, eh, you can take a look at everywhere and this is the general um, way of or this will be the general way of uh, coding that so right and i will show you the explicit way of coding that right the, the program i'm talking about and and then i guarantee you it, it will make sense especially if you work on your little maybe in a smaller scale hopefully right However, or enough for your needs, right? And work on that specific program. And if you write that from scratch, right? It makes it will make really sense. And to be honest with you, it is a really good starting point to learn about the object oriented programming as well, right? However, in MATLAB term, uh, this is not called object. This is called struct. Why it's called struct? I mean this data structure node we call it right has only fields right name field depth field parent right however it doesn't have like uh for example we are going to write some function which we call gen children right and we are we will give that like s not s this is like not right okay and it will give us it will give us like a node and b node right okay however however if we i mean function and that object 
for example okay i'm not being good at explaining that however this will make sense s is a struct however if we were to write for example s dot whenever you write s dot not or, or, or struct dot something you need to mm, write some field and it will give you some property of that object however it can also you can also do something like gen children gen children right and in most cases you like open and close braces right and there is no element in that right and and it would let me it would give you um, this one for example and it would give you then you just look at this one is like a and b right if you write not only fields is what i'm trying to say if you also write okay let me if only or if you only mm, write fields or the properties it is called struct in matlab's term however if on top of the properties the fields if you write functions functions right and it would be called object okay all right and this is like the final little detail but yeah you know good, good to keep that in mind all right let me delete that that that's all right okay you write for each node right you code you only write s you only write the name or the id right okay that's perfect and and after that after that after that you will have you will have now, now we're in a position to where we are able to kind of talk about the little search algorithms the general search algorithm would be like this okay you will have open um, open set and close set right however in open set you write s you will write your starting note okay and then you you know and equals the first element I mean even not do that the first element of that array right you get that and you generate the children right let me let me check my notes so the I was watching that and learning from learning about this uh, from NPTEF. By the way, I will be uh, um, putting them on the description section down below, right? And that was a really, really good learning experience for the sake. Where is that? Now, okay, now I see that. Now I see that. Let me check my notes. Okay. The first algorithm that you would do, for example, mm, let's consider that. Let's consider. No, let's not consider the first algorithm, right? And let me write. Let me write. S S one state space search one. Okay. Open. Right s you know what i'm going to write this like that like this okay open and this is pseudocode by the way right pick 
Sum, quote and quote. Sum, not, and and we will call it the n, right? From open. Okay. This is open and this is open. Okay. And y of y of for test and true meaning if there's not the correct one or the goal right if that is not the goal note if we haven't reached that yet right do that procedure okay why okay so we will write that program here remove and from open and open update to open open intersection it says move gen but i'm going to say just generate children of that n okay this is the first algorithm that kind of makes sense however um, there is a little problem here there is a little problem what is that problem is that first sum okay maybe there's not a problem let's just pick the first element right okay that's cool and all right let's look at that here remove n from open okay and put the children of n in that that okay however what happens if for example there is some for example i mean this is not a um, this is not a binary tree type of structure right for example a can be a parent of b and b can be a parent of c and c can be a parent of d and d can be a parent of a and that is a problem that's a problem in that i mean this type of code would just circle around like that okay and so you need to also put some check and control mechanisms where you also uh, check whether you have quote and quote opened that not before that right and that's why you know when we talk about the fields the search is a really important field why it's important because when you open some nodes or when you generate some children and you like to you know add to your um, open set right and you need to filter out that generate not you shouldn't put all of that children list directly to, into your uh, open set because maybe you have search some of them in the previous steps right why that would be the case because i mean the cyclic type of structure may occur of course if you were really dealing with um, for example one direction type of if you have a structure right graph structure where you don't literally you there is no possibility for you to have a cyclic structure and of course that program in and of itself it would make sense okay and that that will be able to you know solve that problem okay that was one thing and okay let's not now talk about the second a little bit better version of that program right by the way we are bu building on right we just check or consider how how we would like by the way do not consider look at that here just don't don't cheat right and we first consider that how we would you know solve that manually right and we kind of try to see if there is some pattern that we would exploit right and after that and after that and we're like hey there is some pattern or there are some little algorithms that we can use right and now we are you know on the move to reinvent quote unquote reinvent bfs and dfs or state space search algorithms 
and there will be better ones in the future hopefully right okay let's talk about the second algorithm that you will think okay and what was the first let me what was the first problem in the ss1 in the first program problem i mean you can generate some children however you shouldn't just directly uh, concatenate onto your or append that on your open set because maybe some of them you have searched before that and that's why you need to some you need to be able to some uh, check mechanisms some, some control mechanisms right okay that's why we need to have closed this will be you know empty array and um, okay i'm going to put a circle here and i'm going to make some point about that later here this will be a, some coding line so the code line right okay again here Eek some um, nodes and from open okay this is like one line right and edit to closed okay at n to close okay we are building one right okay and if goal test is true is true then return as open update open where you append open like append right union symbol in math and generate children I'm, I'm going to call generate okay generate generate and i'm on our space i'm not generate and minus minus open and closed okay like let's call it a and a is this okay okay and what does it mean it means first check if it is the goal and if not which will not be till the end of the program right and if not update open sets where you put the gener the children of n such that you haven't searched them before open and close right okay so by the way in that fashion there is only okay 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 focus on that so that is the general idea that's the general idea and the only difference the only difference by the way between bfs and dfs bfs and dfs is like in bfs let me let me cheat a bit of right tech tech i'm looking at this uh at this close where is open yeah what was that new and open what is that dfs or okay let's call it generate n children of n and open and for bfs and you like what, what are you talking about i'm going to ex elaborate on that open update open such that such that open and generate n and you like what are you talking about if you add your if you put the children of n in that location in that location let's consider that you are here and you are like wait children right 
generated them, right? And you first generate this one, for example, and open here. This is here. This is A, B, e, C, D, right? First, you have open one, right? And then this is like the close, and then you put you put the um, children of A that are B, C, D, e, right? Like that. If you and in each step you pick the first one, pick the first one, right? Okay, you will pick that. You will pick B, right? And. Okay, so what's the problem? If that has X and Y children names, right? In the second step, in the second step, you would pick B, and you would generate P, you would generate the children of B, and they are X and Y, and you would put them here. You would put them here, and then the rest of the open set. And in each step, remember. In each step, you pick the first element of open set. By the way, in that here is the close set, and here is the again. You put the B, you put the chosen one into your close set, right? Okay, and that would lead you. That would lead you to one, two, three, for example. Just go directly. You generate children, and you get, generate the children of that children, right? Quote and child, and you just if you look at the you know animation, the DFS would be like just flooring apple or something, right? Just it will go down like this till the end. For example, this is like the final stage, and this is, and it has another, it has another, let's say, children. When DFS notices, hey, there is no children to generate, it would backtrack, maybe get some other color. For example, we are here, here, right? Generated, and there is no children. We come like this, right? We travel like this. There is no children here, so backtrack. Let's go to other children, right? And if that has no children, and that is not like the goal, right? Backtrack and backtrack. Go to other children of that node. And this is the general idea. That's why it is called depth first because it prioritizes the depth. It moves along or it searches along the depth, right? In each step, it generates or it opens nodes such that that's the depth of that node is like um, gradually increases. You know, it increases. And however, Bread for search, and you. It is really fascinating to me that just there are two lines, and there is only you know just order, just order, right? For DFS, that is the case, and for BFS, that is the case. Here, this is like the just gen and open, gen comma open, and here open comma gen, right? And this is fascinating that if you change that order, it um, results in such a you know uh, different behavior. And this is like really interesting, especially if you see the you know, program and look at the you know how that kind of tries to you know generate the path, right? Of that looks around and checks the you know goal state. And BFS, BFS, all right. BFS does something like this. Uh, does something like this here you have a 
let's call it one two three right four five six seven eight nine right it looks at one generates this travel one okay and and then you know what it basically does that generate the children here this is the list right generate the children for each node in that list and it will give you this right and then for example 10 11 12 dot 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 right and then it is like generate the children of that here of that list and it is like that and it so it goes like this instead of going like this right as in the case of pfs and there is a little bit of extra information extra information and first completeness bfs is complete meaning if there is an start and goal it finds that however dfs finds dfs is complete meaning dfs is able to solve that problem only when the state space is finite right big y okay this is here this is a or this is s and this is n right Df remember what um, dfs does dfs generates the run and goes like this and if the state space is, is infinite it goes like you know to infinity right however however if the state space is finite is finite it may of, of course it will miss probably right however it will you know backtrack and try to try to find the you know solution and since a and b e, bfs is I mean, it works as how, how it works, right? That the first depth, second depth, third dot 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 dot. It like radiates, right? And it finds that. And here is the interesting information. The path that BFS generates is optimized. However, the path that dfs generates is like a path it's not optimized for example you can you can see some maybe the walls and stuff maybe you can see some kind of solution that dfs would generate however um, dfs is like this BFS would like give you the optimal solution. However, um, DFS is space efficient, or it needs to store way less um, nodes, way less information. However, since BFS is like um, very ambitious, it needs to store a lot of information. I mean, a lot of nodes. It basically goes like that, right? It needs to store all of them. Okay. And that's why there are some hybrid algorithms where they try to, you know, uh, generate some algorithm where BF good parts of BFS and good parts of BFS can be, you know, um, seen in the new algorithms, right? And, okay, that's like the again, information. And, okay, we talk about the we talk about the how should I say the general algorithms general algorithms and we mentioned DFS and BFS right and now let me let me delete all of them 
and now we are really going to um, consider an example problem example problem and we will look at the pseudocode and this is this will be the pseudocode this this is a quasi pseudocode because it i mean there are only a couple of additional lines that you would code in matlab to basically generate that or basically uh, complete the process of you know for implementation and this is not 100 percent so the code this is more than a pseudocode, code but you know be between them there, there's a little you know uh this sp spot in the pseudo code and the real code okay all right so let me pause so let me continue uh more a little more about this examples that we've been talking right and remember that you have that picture and you generated your note list right here the note list and you also need to have um, some structure some structure which would tell you for example when you say hey what are the children of s and it will tell you a and b what are the children of a it will tell you c and e right that type of structure so you need two, two basically um, information first note list and second is i don't know how you would call that the additional object which will tell you the children right and or let me tell you the children dictionary dictionary right okay when you ask to that when you ask or when you use that children and when you ask hey what is the ch children give me the children of s or the list of you know it would give you the children a and b and it would give you in pointer or not formats right it will give you the a note and b note right and it also can give you the name just in char character format or id the id number of a and id number of b I mean, from that now, from that point, it kind of becomes a computer science problem. I mean, which data structure to as which data structure to uh, store that and all that, right? This which one would be more efficient? And this is in the this from that point, it would go into the you know realm of computer science. So I've not been talking about more of that and okay so all right in the problem here we will call n before that again let's decode our general idea open right and or open let's define open as the s right or or note list you can also write or uh, of course you should write note list one here note list one there's note list right. note list first element because we, we know the first element is s by the way we are uh, using that information okay all right that means this is the equivalent of this by the way Right. All right, and close is just empty. Okay, so and equals open first. First, give me the first element of open. All right, and here let's check the algorithm. Mm. Go test and if return as right as instead of writing right as 
if you can also write y of you know till you find the you know goal state and just do that so i should take that right here is false right do that okay and what should we do mm, just update open right delete and from open delete and from open and open and what was the I always forget that wait a sec yeah new open and dfs okay new open this is for dfs and new is so well, maybe i should be a little more pedagogical right new is filter filter right and i'm going to say filter out filter out i'm going to talk about that i'm going to talk about filter out or other you know some function names in a more detailed right fashion and generate generate and and put the new or the first you generate the children of n and then you filter out what do you need to filter out you need to filter out the ones that you have searched before and if you have search just de delete them right and keep the only ones that you haven't searched before that and store that in e or append that into your open sets okay if you like to do bfs you can just write this new i mean this 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 is like the you know this is the only difference bfs okay and that's all so let's talk more about this right for example I'm going to write open that in step one in step one open and closed right okay in step one you will have s and okay and then generate a. put s into close and generate a and b right and then okay what is the chosen one a put a in close and generate the children of a and the children of a is e and e right however if that was non-direction of um, graph the correct answer for example if it is like a s E, 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 right? The children of A would be S, E, E. And since you have search S previously, right, you would eliminate that. And you would quote unquote filter out that node, right? And you would only keep C and E, right? And for that problem, since this is like direction, uh, we kind of don't need to filter out. I mean actually we can do I mean because the children of there is one children for example C which is in some way it is the children of A and it also is children of C right first A will generate that and then we will register C as the children of A and then we will not say A A C is like the children of B okay right step by step right i know it's incredibly annoying i'm 
I'm with you on this. And okay, what what are the chosen of C and E? Okay, this. Right, that's right. E. E. All right. And you. Oh, I forget. Put B. B. Right. Okay. And what is the first one? E. Okay. The children of E is F and G. Right. Okay. F and G. G. Yes. Right. The children. And here, this is the tail. Quote and quote. Tail. This is the head part of open. Here, open. And this is the tail part of open. Right. The part where you um, push out the E or the first entry, okay? Put the E in here. By the way, we are doing DFS as you notice, right? Okay. Because we are doing open, new, open, right? We are prioritizing the new generated nodes. Okay. This is EFS. The, if you change that, if you change the order, this is BFS. This is only the difference, by the way. Okay. And let's pick. Again, the first one, and don't you know it is the G? It is the go off state. So, okay, that's off. And in every step, in every step, um, you will, for example, when you generate the children A and B by using the children dictionary, right? Medical records or something, right? You would put something like this A dot parent equals S, B dot parent equals b right so, so sorry why is that i didn't mean that yeah s okay as soon as you generate the children of s using the children dictionary you would do that and you would also do a dot search because remember where, where is that yeah because remember you are you use searched and in every when you generate search false you put that field for all the nodes in that note list right because we consider that all of them as we haven't searched before right and equals a dot search equals true because we we open that quote unquote or search that we, we open that right we get to know that or we get to reach that node okay you do that for b searched because i know my writing is the best okay and you do that for a and b and for the children of a i made a little mistake not big deal but what are the children of a E and E, let me right okay. C and E. So, as soon as you generate that, you also indicate a dot parent equals a, a dot search equals true, right? And you also do that for C, C dot parent equals a, and C dot search equals true, right? Maybe you would like to update the depth that right that in the initialization step you put s dot depth equals zero and as soon as you generate the children of s not only you update parent and search fields you also update the depth as for example you can do something okay just try to see that s just try to see that picture okay as soon as you generate S, A, B, as soon as you generate mm -hmm. Gen S, it gives you list of children, right? 
it gives you a and b all right you would update for example this is a list right for example you can use some for right i'm going to write matlab for example the length of that list right and you would be like list dot for each entry update parent as s s because this is right s or n if we are in the middle of program you would do that in the you know first stage and you would update the searched field as true and you would update the depth as 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 the um, s dot depth plus one or you can be a little bit more um, cool <laughs> right list i i and list i i right this is like the same thing you can also write list i i dot parent dot depth plus one and it's like a little funny dot something and dot something right you can like mm, I mean, this is why object oriented program is like it's kind of interesting if you get used to that i'm not anyway i'm not uh, i haven't gotten uh, used to that and that's a shame right or if you get used to that it is i mean it kind of is intuition of it kind of really makes sense it when it clicks it really clicks well and all right now we are going to now we are going to talk about this a little bit more detailed detailed uh, pseudocode right so let's delete all of them okay just we are going to focus on from here right we are going to look at the notes here that I prepared by the way so you're welcome and DFS algorithm okay initialization process all right construct the node object for each node in the picture all right we talk about that right and here we can see in that strategy I should say right there are like wait a second there are one, two, three, four, and optional. I said optional. There, are, let's focus on the easy, easy um, version, right? There are four properties which we will sp specify for each node or a node, basically, right? It says name as this is this is example. This example for the S node. You need to do that for every node in the picture and to ease the workload to ease the workload you can keep these values zero null and false you can keep them same same for all or same for all nodes in picture okay all right yes. all right only enter only enter enter the name only enter only enter this one right okay all right and it says that only enter the name for each node in the picture okay fair enough then this is pseudo code right store the nodes in an array which we we will call node list we will call that or we have called that node list okay construct a node and then edit to an array right and do this 
for each node in the picture okay and do that in that fashion construct and edit or do that for s edit edit right and construct that for a again edit construct that for b edit that 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 right okay of course it is <laughs> i mean f f there are lo lots of four loops are coming okay and i know you're aware of that and you're like hey i guess we should do for you you employ some forums for that and you're right okay in the first step we call right mm, this is step zero so far right the construction so far we have managed we have managed to construct the note list right and we talk about what not this in that context is and okay now we are comfortable with that terminology right so let's continue let's continue define two sets called open and closed and here as empty first they are empty right okay then in the second initialization step we are in the initialization part stage right update the depth depth parent and search fields of s not as this by the way uh, we only <laughs> if you look at this we only updated this one right i mean let me zero null and true right okay zero null and false so we only updated search so we say that hey we search that this is the initialization process and we should search that and then add it at the node s to open sets right here this is the pseudocode right append s right put s in open sets all right and so after that operation open sets is only have does only have like s node in it okay let's continue all right it's, it's great by the way we are just making some real progress right okay and now this is the while loop okay this is all right so we only need to consider that part all right maybe get i should get some yeah so okay while true so um, like microprocess this uh, all the time do this here there is some event occurs in that process which would let you break that process okay that's wire true right okay just do that and okay and again n equals head open right by the way this is like i hope you were able to see that by the way i know i'm I kind of have has some doubts on that anyway. Okay, the first step. Again, record. We written like this, right? Pick the first element of open and call assign it to n, right? Okay. And all right. This is again pointer operation C and C plus plus, right? Okay it has the comments pick the first node in open not with zero index in open or the first index in matlab right okay and it, this is for c notation but we are going to use matlab so we're going to do that for example okay and all right just checked by the way check if the chosen node is golf if we determine right the if we reach so far if we reach to that golf node all right if yes all right just return if not okay do this eight which i i mean listed but it's a good you know uh, good pseudocode doesn't skip a bunch of, or, or it doesn't gloss over a bunch of stuff so bear, bear with me right i say new right 
generate children of n right all right let's read the comments right find the nodes which there is an error pointed from n okay i guess i was um, doing some um, i guess like family tree or something that's why I, that to whom or something right okay like uh, joe is the father of jenny and jenny is the mother of johnny or something right okay all right and in the second step we have the children of n right again these children can be something that we have searched before right okay new update new that list we call new right because they are going to be the new nodes that we will include in our open set all right here to out search and i mean it's really explanative i mean ex mm, the name really explains what it does right just filter out the search nodes right okay and new i and this is like just update the parent update the parent field of each node in that in that list okay all right like one two three four two three four right okay generate them and update them right now at this point this node knows what its <laughs> parent is right okay so from now on and uh, we can all right and delete n delete n from open and n was the first entry first element or first node in that list right open right okay just delete that and put that in close set all right okay and increase again increase the depth depth of all the you know mm, we haven't added them in open by the way so, so be, be aware of that update the depth of that right their parent is n update their depth such that they are one increased or one added incremented of the depth of n not their parents right okay and then seven step seven right update the search field as true because we just open that right all right and and the final thing is that put them in our open set and this is dfs why because we appended in that fashion if we change the order of new and open it would give you give us bfs bread for search okay okay after that subroutine after that subroutine just check that why we will check if open set is empty okay this is interesting okay we have s if there is no goal in that right if we are searching for that something and we look at everywhere and if there is no goal in that and if open set is empty that will indicate at this stage at this stage it will indicate hey we have searched all the state space search and of course it's finite in that in, in that example in that imaginative scenario right we have searched every entry every node in that finite state space right and we haven't found that and we are our open set is empty that means we, we consumed every you know node and we haven't find any 
we, we haven't reached to that goal. We haven't reached that promise rents, right? So if that is the case, break and return. Hey, th th there's no cause that if you like, if you die um, strictly, for example, if you were strictly considering or thinking about the, you know, our S A B dot 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 G, if you are strictly considering that example, you are like, hey, why would it be the case, right? I mean, just A, I mean, go from S to a G, and G is in that, right? However, you can use DFS or state sp more general state space search algorithms or um, in a much more rich fashion, right? And another example, for example, is this. Let me tell you. Um, consider that as a eight puzzles. Right? You have from starting from zero, one, two, that, 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 right? Five, seven, eight, eight, three, four, six. Right? Do you do you remember that? Game? Do you remember that game or mm, toy? Right? And zero indicates, hey, there is no nothing here, and there is some. For example, move, move, moving parts. This can be also a pic picture, right? Like a picture of a dog or something. And you would move them. You would move them, right? For example, here, this part is empty, right? So you can move this to that empty location. And you would get, and let me tell you. One, two, five, seven, eight, three, four, six. If you move one to that location, right, you would have one, zero, two, five, seven, eight, three, four, six, right? Okay. And you could also, you could also move. I mean that's going to be annoying but all right you could also move here this is zero five that location and you would have then five one two zero seven eight three four six right okay and if that is your s node right and if you generate the children using that um, using that knowledge right so the children of s are or th this is s by the way this is s right this and this they are same right if you generate the children such that they are in that fashion right and again you can also generate like that maybe some will have Three children max you would have four right why four because let's remind ourselves one two three four five six seven eight here zero you can push five into that in the middle or four or two or seven so at max you would have four children and minimum you would have i guess two for, for, for example let's focus on this you can do that do that and do that so you can there are three configurations or three degrees of freedom or something right you can generate three children the three th three children right and if however the zero is in the corner one two let me write that Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can push one and you can or you can push two, so there are two. So 
minimum you would have two and maximum by the way we are talking about totally different thing by the way let me just say that maximum four right okay so let me delete that and okay you would have these matrices matrices right and your goal state is for example one two three four five six seven eight zero however there are some maybe your <laughs> little brother you know just you know uh, manually right or broke the machine right and put or switch one and six and right maybe right and maybe you have some starting point such that you are not able to uh, you don't have a path from here to here maybe right this may be the case by the way right this is called it is called eight puzzle right maybe i mean when would that happen of course maybe you just literally broke the machine and you just switch uh, Six and one and now it is like one is here and six is here right maybe you did that and you then you couldn't generate the picture of the dog or that configuration right and by the way it is a finite state space right i mean you can it is finite i don't know the number it may be like 10,000, I mean tens of thousands of uh, nodes, right? Again, the nodes of that node is that type of node, right? In the previous example, we were talking about just, uh, you know, S or A or B, right? Just a city name or something. Now we are, now our node, now when we think about i give this example to let us know um, that i mean to let us our remind ourselves that a note can be a very really complicated thing by the way right this may be and now i'm going to talk about the <laughs> real stuff right this may be this note may be a matrix right you and you will generate the quote unquote children right by doing some mathematical operation right for example just uh, generating two children right for example one two zero two five seven eight three four give me that matrix and i'm going to do some mathematical operation and i will give you some matrix and i'm going to do another mathematical operation and i will give you other children right other child and by using by employing some mathematical operation or algebraic operation or some operation right something maybe i mean for example just changing zero and one this is like i mean you can write it in math but there is not a strict math operation or really well known math operation that will do that right so you can do some mathematical operation or operation that's called let's make it general right and it would give you some other matrix Right? It would let you generate the children, or it will generate you other matrices using that starting matrix again through a well defined operation. Okay, so let's give a little interesting examples. For example, let's you have a signal, and of course, you can you should discretize that maybe signal there like four signals maybe you really discretize it you know crudely and quantize it you know you know maybe you have like just numbers here it's you really crudely for example uh, Discretize the signal and quantize the signal, right? Okay, and by doing some, and now you have some nodes, right? And again, maybe 
by doing some mathematical operation, you would have other type of signals, right? And again, by doing some operation, you would have other. other signals where we mm, represent the signals in node right here in that context and and you have some mathematical operation or let me define that mathematical operation and you are kind of trying to mm, solve you are kind of trying to uh, obtain some where defined some given signals right i don't know what would it be you have some signals and you do by doing some signal maybe you're like hey you know increase that a little bit. maybe your operation is something like that right and give me for example just something like this maybe I mean, I'm just trying to give that uh, example to let you know or try to make you think or make, make you think that a note, the thing that we call note, right, can be a really non-simplistic term, non-simplistic object, real life object. It can be a signal, it can be a matrix, it can be a system maybe, right, maybe. I mean, I don't know what, I'm not familiar with how you would use states, I mean, DFS and BFS algorithm in generating, in generating, for example, uh, contour or contour synthesis, right? However, it can, I mean, it, it is possible. And now that I talk about this, I, I hopefully I will, you know, I will, uh search more on this and i will have more, more information about that and right okay so let's that that was again a detour right so let's ignore that delete that right and let's continue right and i'm giving you this example as an or i'm going to talk about this example as just to for the sake of completeness right and um, okay dfs directed graph and this is like directed right we can see the directions and um, all right name right name depth parent and search right okay now we are going to by the way i written that from that by using by using this i mean it looks i mean you cannot read that however this is hopefully i will share it with you i will try to find a way to share it that with you share that document and this is like one page one page okay just right just one page because it's I mean, it's not complicated and it is really a comprehensive pseudo code. I don't know what it means. However, I mean, it's. There is not much of a uh, disconnect between that algorithm and your problem, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So we have. Okay, let's look at this image. We have S. We edit that and closed, right? And. We use that. We pick the first elements and call it n right and check n is golf if yes just you know return then first generate the children and call it new and then update new such that only the ones that we haven't searched before is you know included in that set new right and update the each not in the new set, okay, as you know, n, right, because n is their parent, okay, and delete n from open, okay, and we'll up update, I mean, add n to close sets, right, and 
increase the depth or not increase i mean it is zero right or update their depth field as one increased one added onto the depth of n their parent right and update their search field as true because we search that now we got to familiarize ourselves with that node right and after that um, add that new set to our open set okay and check if if m open is empty right if yes just re if yes is return then return uh, failure right or break that cycle and okay let me delete that we have or we had this and now we have this okay and first element again record we for pick first element and what are the children of a c and e right okay just c and e and add that a to close add a to close and delete that and add the children okay all right a c b and a s okay again here we are in the step three here this is step three and this is step four and that will be the final step okay what is the first element e all right add e to close and generate its children what are the children of e here f and g right okay e here e f and g right okay here so our open and close right this is the this is the first element and since n is g and is the goal we are able to determine if the node we are living with is the goal or not right since we have that control mechanism we say yes and what is the path g e y why we say e because g dot parent now the node g has that information where it knows is what its parent is right because because let me say that we are dealing with that type of function right we implement that, that. we put that information such that it knows it now knows who or um, what its parent is right okay and e dot parent is a right a dot parent is s so we have we generated the path this is the path from s to g all right that's for the sake of completeness by the way this is exactly this is again one page document exactly the exactly same thing only this line only new and open just change the order okay and i written this this is the only difference between bfs and dfs okay let's wow let's look at the let's look at the again the same thing right let's look at the bfs algorithm first step again here this is the again the same thing we are doing right s and what are the children of s a and b okay and edit to close okay so we are here and this is step one and this is step two so here a b and c right look at this and what is the first element a first not a right i'm not talking one by one about the you know this subroutines anymore and what are the children of a let's remind ourselves c and e right a the children c and e all right add a to close and c and e yeah right 
usually in the, I mean, in the previous example where we were talking about DFS, we would write something, right? Something like this. First the children and then the open set, or the remainder of the open set after we push out of uh, push the A out of the you know set, right? Okay, so let me delete that. And here, this is open and close set now, right? So let's see that. See this is the case. And here, this is the step three and this is the step four, right? Okay. In DFS, it manages it manages to uh, commit or generate the path in five or no three steps, right? However, it BFS generated in five steps, so yeah, there can be a little DFS kind of got them lucky, right? You cannot say DFS is faster or BFS is like faster. You you cannot say that. Directly, it depends. Really depends on the problem, right? You need to really uh, implement that to see which under what condition, which would better out it outperforms other, right? That kind of thing. All right. What is the first element? B. What are the children of B? Let's look at that. Sorry, we... don't make this right. Okay. What is the children of B? We are now looking at this. T and D. However, we assign i mean we search the c right whenever we search it we are like just put x on it or something right and it says c and d however we have search c so let's just say d is the only child of b right and here just put that d in close set and d only d right E C and here E C. Okay. All right. What is the you know first element? E. All right. What are the children of E? Hmm. Wow! I make a mistake. Yes. Because I'm looking at this and children of E, children of E, F and G, right? Okay, F and G. So I should have written C, D, F and G, right? I mean, this, this is correct, but the order is not correct. Open it should be like that. And, and, Okay, I'm going to update that hopefully, right? Okay, what what is the ch children of C? There is no children, all right. And what is the children of F? It is D. Well, oh, that's I mean very annoying. Anyway, okay, just try to solve that ourselves, right? Open and closed okay so here d d f g e b a s okay what is the children of d maybe i should copy that there is no children right there is no children and what is the so we just directly Put that here. Okay. What is the children of D? Now we chosen D, right? What is the children of D? F. Okay. However, however, it is F. However, we search F before, so there is no children, right? So it is only here. And G E C E E A S right F what is the children of F G right 
are we sure about that? Yeah, G. Still don't know. F is G. Okay. Add it here. However, we search that. Search G before. So we say F doesn't have any children. And we add it to close. D, C, E, B, A, S. Right? And now we pick that. And now, yeah. Now we know what the you know call this and I guess that's why I kinda you know skip that so again BFS just generated that path okay I am looking at this by the way stack the DFS stack and last in first out or open set by the way right and they are like kind of similar or th these are similar but dfs uses stack right and bfs q and first in first out or open set again they are similar and bfs uses first in first out fashion for its open set and here here we will talk about now we will talk about um, pseudo code we will talk about a pseudo code again for that maze planning maze planning um, in, in the next video i should say right in, in the next video we will talk about this problem dfs and bfs maze planning first i will uh, okay let's and this video and thanks for watching